Welcome to the webcast, Compressed Air Systems for Collision Repair Shops. This webcast will help you understand how to get the best performance from your air system. This web webcast will be presented by Michael Camber of Kaser Compressors and Joel Smith of Precision for Collision, a California-based provider of equipment and shop design services to the collision industry. I'm Bruce Adams, Managing Editor of ABRN, and I'll be the moderator. Michael, let's uh, take a little. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, practical applications of pressure. Okay. Um, the the main thing I want uh, everyone to remember is that um, pressure does not determine compressor size. This is something that we occasionally uh, run into in the field. Uh, that people say, "I have a you know my compressor. It's a 125 pound machine. That doesn't determine the size. It's just the the uh, setting on that." Uh, of course, pressure is um, uh, measured in pounds per square inch gauge, um, and I think everyone's pretty comfortable with that. Um, and uh, Joel, uh, did you have any thoughts on uh, what you've seen in the field with uh, regard to pressure? Yeah, I see the the huge misbelief in the fact that PSI is what driving what's driving the tools, as opposed to the CFM, which is actually the driving force behind all air tools. <clears throat> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the things is that um, uh, it's um, it's very common for people to drive tools at higher pressures than they need. Yeah, that's yeah, an important because point. Just because you're spinning the tool faster does not mean that it's working harder. It's actually the opposite of that. It's quite a misconception. Right, 